May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and unfortunately, what should be a celebration of diversity is being marred by violence. There's a spike in anti-Asian hate crimes, with reports of incidents up 164% in the first quarter of this year compared to 2020. Often, the victims are seen as foreigners, as less American. Our history is marked by moments when perceived belonging was challenged. One story from World War II stands out when 23-year-old Californian Fred Korematsu refused to get on a bus defying a presidential order allowing the internment of Japanese Americans. It's a story we've asked his daughter, Karen Korematsu, to tell. My father was my hero. He was my example and my shining light, really. My father was Fred Korematsu, who had the landmark Supreme Court case Korematsu versus United States regarding the Japanese American incarceration during World War II. Executive Order 9066 was issued by President Roosevelt. That was the order that gave actually the military the authority to forcibly remove anyone of Japanese ancestry from the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California, and Arizona and they were given just 48 hours notice to report to the detention assembly centers. He was arrested in San Leandro, California. He never blamed anyone for the Japanese American incarceration. It was the executive director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Northern California that visited my father in jail and asked if he'd be willing to fight his case. And Mr. Bessick said, if need be, we'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court. It was a, just a simple matter of he thought the government was wrong and he was right to take a stand. He was standing up as an American. And that is the question, what does it mean to be an American? I think my father was most proud of the fact that his federal conviction was overturned or vacated. It almost took 40 years for that to happen, that he never gave up hope. After my father passed away in, in 2005, then people were looking to me. And at first, I was a bit shy, I must admit, but I felt it was my responsibility to, to carry on his legacy. Well, when the lawsuit came up of Trump versus Hawaii, the Muslim ban, then it became the immigration ban. Back in 1942, they called it, you know, military necessity. Now we call it national security. This is the same pattern that the government has used from generation to generation. It's the, the same old story of you're guilty because you're looking like the enemy. And, and that's clearly wrong. My father was an example of working across communities. And that's what we need to do now more than, than ever. The intersectionality of our communities is so important if we're going to make change. 